Now today, what I thought we would do is to do something I told you when we wrote, that it's a writing process, and usually as I write, I like to have you get your mind involved in what you're doing. I kind of, first, I have been setting you up right now, but now I want to get your mind involved, so I'd like to take you more. So I want you to write in your journal, um, and I want you to do this quickly. And one reason to do this quickly is your, eyes can, your ideas can come out fast if you don't think too much about it. Later, I'll tell you to think. But right now, I want you to think. I'm going to give you a topic. I want you to write the topic at the top of the page, just quickly in any kind of shorthand. I want you to think of, put down um, experiences, last week's experiences. And that can include the weekend, anything in the past week, last week's experiences. Okay, that's your topic. Now, it can be any, they can be anywhere. You have to make a list of all the, anything right now that comes to mind that you did within the last week. Here, home, with your kids, with your partner, anywhere. Fun, bad, good, bad, make the list. I, I had many objectives in planning this lesson because I see my role as many different, with having many different facets. The writing objective was to get them, I guess the specific adjust to it was to get them to understand the purpose of writing revolving around learning, what you can learn from writing. Um, we had talked about previously about why we write in an overall, in an overall f um, fashion. Then we talked about some specific types of writing, but I think what I'm trying now is to bring that into, before they really do some basic writing themselves and, and more extensive things, to get them to realize that writing can be to learn something and to look at themselves um, and to find their thoughts on things, um, different issues, or thoughts about themselves and others. So next thing I want you to do is look at your list and I want you to choose one to focus on. That you the one that that means something to you, that makes you think the most, feel the most. You you figure out, you look at it and see what is it. Choose <coughs> one. Take that one and write it down uh, on that same paper, you may, down below. So it's separated from those. So this is your new focus. If you don't have much room on the paper, you can do it on the next line. And on, take another sheet, I don't care. But. All right, that's your focus. Now, I want you to list a group of words. I don't care how you spell them. List a group of words that come to mind as you think of that event or happening. They can be negative, positive, feelings, thoughts, whatever, about that event. Especially for this group, yeah. or for any adult, I think, or for anyone, but adults in particular, I think brainstorming, students know that they have to be free to do it, and there's not going to be any type of criticism when you throw in, when you get used to brain, if you just throw out ideas you can't criticize. And I think it opens them up, and whether, and this time they were doing it by themselves, at first, you know, and when they were actually in the writing act, the, with their paper and pencil, they were actually having to brainstorm themselves, and that opened up their minds. Um, sometimes we do it, and we had done it, I guess, a little bit, brainstorming when we first started, because again, that, that just freed their minds. It gets their minds going, and one of the theories is if you can, if you can just throw out answers without thinking, you get a lot more, and then you can go back and do some do deep thinking, but you won't think as, as broadly if you don't if you do it, it take too much time, it sort of stops you for a while. And so that's basically why I do it. It's a, it's a freeing activity. I th and I think writing, you need freeing activities. All right, so the next thing, I want you to write a very short paragraph about that event. I want you to include a topic sentence. I think the event is the topic. I want you to t write one sentence about the topic. And then I want you to write at least three sentences about what you using your words. 
Okay, let's stop now. I will, I'll let you finish this later and we'll even develop it more later. We were just writing to learn. That's one of the things that we were doing. Now, you don't have to be specific about what you learned, but can you tell me in some general way, what did you learn, either about yourself or about the topic as you were writing? Did it help you clarify anything in your mind? It clarifies yeah. like your feelings and your thoughts. Okay, feelings. It did help you to clarify your feelings, right? It clarified your feelings. Anything else? You shook your head. Pri okay, so you wrote and you learned your priorities, all right? Writing to learn, everybody have one there? Yep. Is thinking on paper. Did that just, did that help you do it? <laughs> By doing that, it helped you think on paper. <clears throat> it's the main purpose is better thinking and learning. I want you to do some additional thoughts here, and you can do this later, about writing to learn. You've already put them on here. Then I want you to think about how you might use this in your own life. And then the third one is how much you use this in an office setting.